Hooray! And here's the one of the beautiful blue flower I took in the field. And here's the red flower. And the yellow one. Da -da. Wow! Yeah, I like yellow flowers too. And here's the shot of you waking up. And the beautiful sunset one. Even though I love what I photographed, I find painting more special because the painter is doing it and not just the camera. Da-da? Da-da? What is it? What's making it? Before, I was looking in a book about Man Ray, the photographer, and he was called a sculptor of light. A sculptor of light? And then my belt buckle spun a bit and, and it glowed. And then the light was here. Where did it go? Gone. Whoa. That was the photograph I was looking at when it appeared. That's neat, Dada, but it doesn't look like a photograph. It's called Rheography Spiral, and it says it's a photograph. But it doesn't look real, although it does look a bit like an eye, or maybe like looking up into a hurricane, or... Of that photographer. Um... Man Ray. Huh? <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Hi, Man Ray. I'm Maddie. I was taking pictures with my new oh. camera and. And I'm Dada. I like your name, Man Ray. <laughs> I like your name, Dada. Man Ray is a name I gave myself. The book said you were a sculptor of light. <laughs> <laughs> Photography is all about light. What a small camera. So huh? you're a sculptor of light because you're a photographer? Yes, I, I paint with light. I'm working directly with light itself. How do you get film in this camera? Film? It's a digital camera. It has no film. What is um, film? Film goes in old cameras and movie cameras. It's what recorded the picture that was being <laughs> taken. You make photographs using a camera without film, and I make photographs using film without a camera. Hey, Maddie! Huh? <laughs> Here's the picture that brought us here. Or the magical ball of light did. <laughs> That's oh. funny. But here, Maddie, is a photograph made without a camera. It's great. But where did you see something like this to take a picture of it? I'm not a photographer of nature, but of my imagination. So I make a photograph like, like an artist makes a painting. If you want to take a picture, throw away your camera. And this uh -huh. isn't a photograph exactly. It's a rayograph. Rayograph? It's named after you? Yes, I named it after me, like a ray of light. Come into my dark room. I'll show you. You say, if you want to take a picture, to throw away your camera? Yes, you don't need a camera, just film. See over here? This box is full of objects mm -hmm. I might want to use in my next picture. To make photographs and rayographs, we use a special paper that becomes black when it's exposed to light. And there's no camera oh. here. A rayograph is camera-less photography. First, I assemble things on light-sensitive paper. Then I turn on the light for a few seconds. But nothing has appeared. Oh, the paper is still white. Now we put the paper in the bath, and the image will slowly appear. I want to see. Can we switch on the light? Not yet. When we put the paper in the second bath, it will stop the process of the image developing. There's a third bath, too. The third oh. bath will fix the image permanently. Otherwise, we'll get other images in it. Almost done. Now you guys try it. Oopsie. Oh. Huh? <laughs> huh? Oh. <laughs> We're now the objects under the light. That huh? light came in here, and my belt buckle spun. <laughs> I don't know how we got here, but now move very slowly when the light is on. <laughs> Change positions. Move, everyone. Switching on the light during the development makes a partial inversion. That means it makes the black appear in the white and the white appear in the black. So the light will make black white and white black. Like our shadows will be white? That's right. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> wow. 
By placing solid objects on light-sensitive paper and exposing it over and over to a moving light, you get very zany designs that we call abstract images. What a cool way to make a picture. <laughs> hey, you guys! The ball of light went inside this photograph! It's not a photograph, Dada. I think it's a drawing. Look, the hands are floating. And look, there are lines, like they were drawn. No drawing. This technique is called solarization, which is switching the light on during the development of a picture when the picture is in the bath. Is that also what makes the lines? Yes, the light and the incredible photographic chemicals create lines around edges, contours, and a brightness in the picture. But it's always experimental. In the end, I never know what the picture will look like. Wow, so you don't try to make a copy of something out in the world. You really create something <laughs> new and different. I learned to control the light the way a painter might learn to control color in his painting. This picture looks dreamy. The die, yeah! It looks like the woman is sad, but the tears don't look real. She doesn't look sad or happy. The picture confuses you because you don't know what it is. <laughs> I love to confound, to make people huh? think. Man Ray, I think I have more ideas of how to do pictures now. I don't want to just take pictures with my camera. I want to make pictures <laughs> and use my imagination. Huh? Oh. <laughs> we have to go. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Man Ray. Thanks Bye -bye. for everything. Come back anytime. Here's a picture of the inside of a flower. And here's one of you waking up with a yawn. Yeah. <laughs> I made the camera go slow here and moved a flashlight around. Cool. You sculpted light. <laughs> What's out the window, Dada? Remember the fireflies you took the picture of last night? Well, the ball of light is now their new friend. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Every time I try to take your picture, you hide. <laughs> Hi, Maddie. Did you have a good... Oh, every tree I paint always looks the same. And my birds always look like letter M's. <sighs> Da-da. Oh. I don't have my own style of painting. All the artists that I look at all have their own 